what we want to do now is we want to copy this peace sign three more times and we want to create a basically a block that's four inches by four inches and make sure that 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 the peace sign and the three other ones we copy will fit inside that four inch square that we're creating to go to the laser now remember the D, uh, the MDF that we're going to be using is going to be four inches square by one eighth inch thick. So before we do any of that, let's go ahead and create some new layers. I'm going to go ahead and open up my layers properties manual, uh, properties uh, panel. I can also key in LAY, and it brings that up that way. So let's create two new layers. Right mouse click, and we'll say new layer, and I will call this piece sign. Okay, and we'll do a right mouse click again, or we can come up here and well, I guess we're going to go ahead and do a right mouse click and say new layer. That's even better. Okay, and this one we're going to key in uh, MDF shape, medium density fiberboard. And what I want to do now also is to change the color to maybe kind of a tannish color like this, kind of like the color of MDF. Go ahead and hit OK for that. And then on this, the NDF square, I'm going to go ahead and key in maybe a, or select a, oh, let's go with light blue here. Hit OK. All right, now with those two layers created, I'll go ahead and turn that off and save my file. Make sure that's up to date. And we want to move that P sign here up to the new layer. So the first thing we do is select the P sign we come over here to peace sign and hit select and now the peace sign is on a new layer we'll hit escape and you can see that it's already stored to this new layer now we'll make that layer active okay and you double check that it's active you select this you can also come over here and see that the green check mark is on it as well all right now let's copy this guy right here and I'll start with this side and just click once, drag a green box over it. And I'm going to come over here to the copy command. And it says select a base point. We'll select right here. And we'll come across as such there. And I'll hit escape, hit my space bar again, select objects. And I'll hit a space bar that I've selected them. And select the base point come right above it like this okay whoops I did I made a mistake on that let's do that one more time okay now hit escape okay so we've got that four P signs copied we'll pull those down so we can look at them I'm gonna go ahead and now go to the MDF shape layer and I'm going to draw a line Hit the L command for line. I'll start right here. I'll just come across here and go four inches. And we may have to move this around a little bit. We'll come up here and go four inches. We'll come across here. Yeah, we're going to have to move some stuff around. And we'll go four inches as well. And we'll hit C to close. So now we've got a four inch square. Okay, so that looks good. We're going to go ahead and lock that layer. And we'll lock it. Okay, go back to layer properties and we'll set ourselves active to the peace sign layer. And now we'll go ahead and kill that window or turn that off. And we'll do a control A. And it looks as if we selected this layer here. So we'll un use our shift key and our pointer and unclick that. Just in case we didn't inadvertently got it. We're going to use the uh, move command. move it down and kind of over about right see about right there okay now what would probably make the most sense is if we go ahead and we rotate uh, one of these guys here I'm gonna rotate him select this guy here and I will hit my rotate command and it says select the base point I just go to the center and I'll just move this around to where it's where it doesn't overlap. So I'll put that as well. Now I'll come over here and select 
this peace sign. <coughs> and again, I will rotate RO, select the base point, find the center of the circle, and we can rotate that over there. Okay? Also, what we could do is on the one up here, select him. Deselect that with the RO command. And we'll find our midpoint. That looks good. Now we'll come over here and do this one on the upper left. Deselect that horizontal line. We'll do an RO. And we'll select our base point being the center. And we'll turn that to about right there. Okay. So we've got it pretty well on here. We'll just scooch these down or move these down a little bit. Okay. I'll hit my move command, which would be M. Select the base point. Come down about right there. Now it looks like we missed a piece here. That's okay. I'll come up here and select that. Hit the move command again as well. And I'll select a base point and I'll select this point here and it's moved. Okay. We'll zoom to extents. Okay. And I'll roll out just a little bit with my uh, mouse wheel and there we are okay we've got everything set on where it's nested and it sits on this four inch square piece of MDF let's go ahead and save our file and we're ready to also come up here and do a save as we'll come down and select the file format that the laser needs which I'm just going to select uh, a DXF I'll go to the latest DXF and mine here is 2018 if you got 2019 or 2020 go ahead and select that hit save and it says it already exists I'll replace it and it is replaced alright we're good for now and we'll take this file and open up our computer on the laser and we'll laser engrave this out